Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I'm taking all these ASIC miners and removing them from my new mining location, new house here. You guys know uh, that I've been building up servers and uh, GPU mining rigs and I got everyone's flags all over the walls here and my own networking and stuff. I said to myself I would not keep any ASIC miners down in here. It's just gonna be all GPU mining and I'm gonna stick with that so but this area is kind of like my like testing or like maybe staging area but for the meantime yes I you know I should be moving these off now because I've already done videos on these and you know what I totally forgot to do a giveaway on one of these gold shell mini doge twos I'm gonna tell you guys how to participate in this giveaway thank you to cryptominerbros.com and also gold shell for sending me these two. This giveaway is on behalf of them. So we're gonna give away one of these Gold Shell Mini Doge 2 guys. I have a Gleam link down below. It's gonna run for a week long. I will choose the winner in about a week. And then, yeah, it's very easy. Just follow the steps on, you know, following Crypto Miner Bros, following Gold Shell on Twitter, and that's basically it. Yeah, that's all you have to do. There may be a few other options. And then I will choose the winner in a week. So good luck to those who enter. Link down below. Okay, so we are going to turn off the Antminer D9. I already unplugged the network cable because I just wanted to stop, you know, slowly mining and, oh, that's better. To be honest, it's actually not that loud. I did the review of this miner already and uh, to be honest, depending on your environment, the fans on it weren't that loud, but uh, I could still hear this from upstairs. So it's better that I move this to my other crypto mining basement which has actually lower electrical cost anyway so yeah i'm gonna bring all of these asic miners actually i am not going to be bringing the library asic stay tuned for this video i do want to do a dedicated video talking about lbc and uh, getting these two little asics going but i am going to bring the gold shell kd box 2 and then I will bring uh, one of the Gold Shell Mini Doge 2s over as well to my other crypto mining basement, okay? And uh, I do want to turn off actually some other ASIC miners that I have in my other location, so we'll talk about that. I'll see you guys in the other basement. Let's go. Oh my god, it's it's really loud in here. Anyways, I have to take into account the power consumption I'm currently using. So every one of my PDUs here, I have three 240 volt 30 amp PDUs, and I'm pretty much roughly about the 80% rule. So almost 24 amps on all of these PDUs. So all the ASICs I have here, L7, IB Link BMK3. I have a S19 XP, a Antminer K7, an Antminer E9, not the Pro. I have an Antminer S19J. I have an Antminer Z15 and a LT5 Pro, Gold Shell LT5 Pro. I know that one of or two of these ASICs I'm going to be turning off today, and uh, essentially because they're not profitable. But also it's because I want to add in the Antminer D9 and also these two uh, little mini ASICs as well and potentially a Inosilicon A10 Pro. This is a much older Ethereum ASIC, but I'm just curious of the profitability of the Inosilicon A10 Pro right now. So right now I have a, it's a 750 mega hash and at my eight cent kilowatt hour here, it is not profitable. It would lose about 37 to 40 cents a day 
on if I had this on, which is honestly not that bad if I believed long term though on ETHW, which I don't really I don't really believe in ETHW. So in terms of profitability, it doesn't make sense for me to run this right now and I don't really have much power capacity anyway. I'm pretty much maxed out in my crypto mining basement here like I told you guys before. So total, uh, yeah, the 330 amp 240 volts up here, but then I do have a 130 amp 240 volt circuit here as well. So four in total. This one is maxed out as well. 13 amps on this bank, 14 amps on this bank, which uh, I know that this cable goes to the LT5 Pro. If we look on mine, the ASIC, yeah, the LT5 Pro at 8 cent kilowatt hour is also not that great for me. It's uh, in the negative, negative 69 cents. Nice. So I may uh, turn off the LT5 Pro and also the IB Link BMK3. You guys, you all know the Bitmain K3 has taken over the network. And so the IB Link BMK3 that I have here only making about 18 cents a day. But I'm curious, how much is the IB Link BMK3 uh, yielding? Earning about $6.52 a day. That's before electric, obviously, at 8 cent kilowatt hour. So if I were to do the conversion here from 6.52 USD to KDA, it would mine about 7 KDA a day, which honestly, that's pretty good. So what if KDA, for instance, did go back up to its all-time high of, what, $22? So what's seven times $22. I mean, that's pretty good, but that's a big risk, right? That's a big risk. So do I believe in Kadena? Yeah, I do. So ultimately, I'm gonna keep that IBLink BMK3 on. All right, so we're gonna leave that on. I think we're just gonna take out the gold shell LT5 Pro because that takes almost 3,100 watts. But you know, I believe in Litecoin and Dogecoin as well, but you know, the D9 does make more right now than that LT5 Pro. And like I said, it's because of my capacity right now. I'm all maxed out. So let's turn off the LT5 Pro, 14 amps. Let's just do it right now. And we should see zero amps now. So <laughs> that was 14 times 240. That'll give you the power consumption of that LT5 Pro. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch these two and I'm gonna see how much power uh, capacity I have left. Be right back. All right, guys. I got a bad thing that just happened. I dropped the Gold Shell LT5 Pro pretty bad on the corner. And uh, I'll tell you how I did that here. So I had the LT5 Pro over here. I was pulling it out with both hands. I grabbed it into my arms and uh, I was more so in, in here, right? As I was backing out, the back of my foot caught the end of the table right here. I, I tripped backwards, it scraped my arm right here, the LT5 Pro, dropped onto the ground and, oh my god, it, I can't believe this is the one of the first times, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the first time I dropped an ASIC miner of this size. This is a pretty big boy ASIC. I mean, look at this, look at the back here. I feel so bad, I feel so bad, I feel so stupid that I dropped this thing and, uh, Man, I hope it's okay. I did shake it, you know, just to see it. I didn't hear anything inside, loose or anything. Man, this is the first time I've like mishandled a machine like this. I feel, oh, I feel pretty stupid. So I'm, I just wanna, this is not the video I want to make. By the way, the D9 is mining, so that's all well and good. In case anyone cares, it's, it's taken 12 amps by itself. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to add the KD Lite and the Gold Shell Mini Doge 2 here because I'm pretty much all maxed out 80% rule. Uh, I'm probably gonna bring this back to my house, use it as like a little heater upstairs somewhere. So anyways, let me try to open this. I need a better screwdriver. Okay, so right here. Oh man, I cannot believe it. You guys are all probably laughing at me right now. I cannot believe I dropped it, tripped. Don't wear socks and sandals. I think that was the issue. Let's see if it's uh, if it's bad. Okay, so this is, thank God, it's just like, it's just a cover. Okay, there's no like wires or anything attached to this. Uh, let's go into here. So yeah, 
Yeah, the LT5 Pro looks to be fine. When I shook it, there was no metal sound, so it doesn't seem to be anything loose or broken. I guess, you know what? I'm gonna plug it in, make sure it works. You know what? Let's just quickly try it here. Let me take out the D9. Okay, I just plugged in the network. Power, it's not on yet. So there's no power draw here. Okay, I, let's, just, let's, let's just hope this doesn't blow up. Uh, here we go, three, two, one. Okay, there right, we got network. All right, we got lights. All right, it's flashing. That, that might be a good sign or a bad sign. All right, that's a good sign. Do I smell any smoke? All right, yeah, smell test. I don't, I don't smell any smoke. All right, um, I'm gonna see if this uh, starts mining. It'll give it a sec. Okay, it's mining, 14 amps. That's what it was doing before. All right, so it seems to be okay. In the uh, web GUI, yeah, we're showing 2400 mega hash. And uh, each of the hash boards seem to be, seem to be working. Looks like there's four hash boards here. Oh, oh my God, okay. All right, guys, I'm, oh, I am so, so dumb for dropping this. I probably dropped it like yay high, like maybe five feet high and it just demolished the cover you guys can see here oh my god uh, i'm glad nothing else nothing else seems to be uh broken so it looks to be okay all right fully electric if you're watching this man let me know if you still want this if not you know i was thinking we could do a giveaway on this if not whatever let me know let me know down below all right guys that's it for this video i kind of regret making this video now because i, I dropped the lt5 pro but let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.